Hi, in this video we will be demonstrating how an IT administrator can leverage writable volume to store user installed applications as well as the user profile data. Like AppStacks, where IT administrator shares a single AppStack to many users, a writable volume is also a virtual disk. But it is configured in a one-to-one -one configuration and each user has their own writable volume. When you assign a writable volume to a user, the first thing you need to decide is what type of the data the user will be able to store in the writable volume. You can opt out where you want only user installed applications to be saved or both profile data and user installed applications to be saved in the writable volume. So let's see how we can create a writable volume and assign it to the user first. Log into the VMware App Volume Admin Console. Click on the volumes. Click on writable volumes. Click on create. Search for the user for which you want to assign a writable volume. Select the user, choose a source template. Here is a point where you have to decide what you want to save in the writable volume for the user. You can only save the applications or you can choose to save application as well as the profile data. Choose a template and click on create. If you want to create it immediately, select the create and hit the create button. And now we have the writable volume created and attached to the user. Now we have a writable volume created for the user and attached to it. The next step what I will do, I will log into the VMware Horizon Admin Console and assign a dedicated desktop to the user so that we can see whether the writable volume is attached, getting attached to the desktop assigned to the user. So let's log into the Horizon Admin console and assign a desktop to the user. Go to the catalogs, desktop pools, inventory, choose a desktop and assign it to the user. Let's log into the desktop now. Connect to the connection server. So we have we can launch Windows 10 now. Now we'll go back to the vCenter and see whether the writable volume is attached to the desktop or not. So this is the desktop and if you see the hard disk 2 which is a writable volume and attached to the desktop. Let's go back to the Windows 10 desktop and try to save data and s install some application on it. I'm saving some installers here. I created a folder and copied some data into it. Let's install an application as well. So let's go back to the VMware Horizon admin and assign a different desktop to the user. Now I will unassign Z01 from the user and assign Z03 desktop to the user. So let's unassign the user and assign Z03 to the same user. Let's go back to 
the connection server and try to access this desktop. Launch Windows 10. Now we can see we have all the installed applications which we installed on 001 as well as all the data which we stored on the right on the desktop for the user. So all this data gets stored in the writable volume and this is the great flexibility which user get, user get. Even if he log in from one desktop to the different user, he will be able to, an IT administrator can allow a user to save all his data as well as the installed applications and it will go with the user. And it also provides a great flexibility when you comes, it comes into the uh, known persistent desktop scenario where the desktop get reset once the user log out. But now when we have the writable volume, we can attach the same writable volume to the different desktop and all the user data as well as the user user installed applications will be saved in the writable volume. So this concludes the demonstration how you can create a writable volume as well as assign it to the user. And after that, user can install all his application and save his data into the writable volume. Thanks for watching the video.